you get a CD and you want to scan the disc and the CD doesn't have a lot of printed area on it so it has these reflections that show up real easy this uh, rainbow effect and so you try to scan it but you get some weird results so when you scan it you get something like this this is on a Epson scanner uh, it handles it okay but there is some uh, variance in the reflective areas or you can have a scanner like this that has the uh, the rainbow effect kind of shows through but what if you want it to look like this just very nice and clean doesn't have any rainbow effect all of the non-printed area just shows up as white and so how can you do this well, unfortunately, the answer is you don't use a scanner. The trick here is that I don't use a scanner. Instead, I use a, a camera. And for me, I use my camera phone because it's the device with the highest megapixels that I have access to. And then it's also just easy to set up in this uh, setup that I have. So here, so this is what it is. It's a light box that's specifically designed for a CD. And I have, um, there's LED light strip that comes in and then it goes in and wraps around the entire box and then goes in and wraps around the, underneath the pedestal that the CD is on. And so, uh, and then there's this paper here that just keeps the light the light from here coming straight straight sideways and reflecting off the disc so just the this paper here is just to stop uh, stray reflections I only want the light bouncing down so the key to what makes this work is the top and see the top has this piece of paper that is that hangs down and so the light bounces off of it like a uh, mirror and then goes on the disc which then see this hole at the top that's where the camera lens is looking through and the secret or the key to this working is that the lens hole is right over the disc top right over the hub so you don't see the reflection of the camera instead you just see the cam the reflection of this white and so that is what makes the the back the background on the disc come up really nice and white instead of being all reflective and so the way this works is you put it in here and so now you've got this round uh, shape above the disc alright so Here's how we take a picture. We've got the camera, the cell phone. Um, these are outlines of the different cameras that I've tried. Uh, this is a spacer just to keep the phone level because of the thick uh, lens areas that new cell phones have. So I just put it down over the outline. And so see that spacer is just to uh, Keep the phone level and um, we'll change the 4x3 to square we'll change the timer so the phone doesn't vibrate when I hit the photo button yep there we go there's a picture of the uh, disc and then I just have to post-process it in uh, image stuff and get rid of all the 
things around it and uh, clean up the color and the brightness a little bit. Comes out looking pretty good.